all right welcome back in this video we're gonna be diving into settings of mobile monkey account so for that I'll just go into chatbot builder and click on settings and here is where all your settings are on top of that there is another option which you can click on your profile over here on the top click on settings and you will be able to see your billing options so let's suppose if you want to upgrade uh, your plan so here is where you go on the top click on settings and you can click on upgrade to pro and whatever uh, you uh, might be having as a plan will be shown over here you have to enter your details and upgrade confirm the payment and that's it so I'll go back and on top of that you can also see connected since when so this is a dummy account and you can also click on users and add more users which I'll show you later on you can also add more companies companies is basically accounts for yourself so if you are having a client company or if you're well, not a client company by the way <laughs> if you are having a client and you want to manage their mobile monkey account uh, from your account then you can click on create new company and you can add them or what you can do is that you can ask them uh, to just add yourself as a user which I'll show you later on as we move uh, further but I'm just giving you an idea what all these options are so and, and other than that you can upgrade to a team plan which uh, I would suggest that if you are an agency and if you are doing heavy work with respect to messenger marketing only then upgrade to team or else it's uh, not at all required for you so once again I'll go to mobile monkey chatbot builder and I'll go to this settings where the actual thing goes uh, the first thing bot name uh, you can just have any bot name this is just for your purpose so I'm gonna go into my actual uh, account go into settings and I'll show you digital Pratik bot so that's the name which I have make sure you have this active so over here is, is also active and uh, bot response settings this is something which is super important uh, make sure you have ignore answered unanswered questions what it means that whenever somebody is uh, typing anything random then your bot would not respond all right it won't respond what it will rather do is it will actually take all of those inputs which are not configured into q a all right and it will come into unanswered questions over here so make sure you have that option tick marked which is ignore unanswered questions this is for your better now this is not a mandatory process this is not compulsion uh, you can have respond to unanswered questions with the default page now when you select this option what it will what, what it will do is it will just send this message which is message to send when the user does not pick a provided response also message to send when user repeatedly fails form or quick question validation what is this form and quick question they are widgets which I'm going to uh, explain you in a while which comes into pages so if you go on the top here are all these widgets all right click on more and you'll see more widgets which I'll show you in the upcoming videos I'll explain all of these things so form and quick questions uh, in the settings it is talking about that particular thing uh, then a message sent when a contact enters an invalid email please enter valid email address you can configure all of these things all right so I can say please enter a valid uh, or please enter a working email address which you frequently check right that's it uh, then please enter a valid 10 digit phone number and it is auto saved as soon as you do something let's suppose please enter a valid 10 digit mobile phone number as soon as I click outside it will save automatically you don't have to click on any save button that's a good part other than that subscription settings uh, subscription message so this is something which if you enable uh, which which I'll talk about when we go into pages but when you have this message pop up for your visitor and if you are if, if they are able to see do you really want to unsubscribe and if they click on yes or no whatever your options would be like no and uh, uh, let's suppose uh, do you really want to unsubscribe no so you can, you can just use any smile right this is a black color thing let me just have this tick mark like this all right you can have anything uh, unsubscribe button text you can have some anything over here you can change and language is English 
So here are a few uh, things which you can configure and those are the settings of your uh, chatbot marketing tool which is Mobile Monkey.